Well, right now you can celebrate more than 80 years of Marvel. The Oregon Museum of Science and Industry is showcasing original art from the comics and some iconic props from the movies. Yeah, really cool, especially if you're a Marvel fan. Uh -huh. Cor Harlan joins us live this morning at OMSI with a preview right, of this right. super exhibit. Cor? Boy, this is really cool, Ken and Emily, as you, as you alluded to there. There's some of the original artwork that they used in the mock-ups for the original comics. There's, in a more of a modern sense, there's some of the costumes that they've used in the movies. And it all starts right here with Captain America. Case number one, Captain America, who was originally uh, came out uh, in about 1939 before America's involvement in World War II. But you can tell by, by the flavor in some of these that the people who put uh, Marvel Comics together had a sense for what was going on in the world at that time and felt they needed a strong American hero type person to uh, kind of usher us into the World War II era. And as you can see, Douglas kind of whipping you around there, showing you all some of the, some of the cool uh, illustrations that they've got illuminated here in the hall. It's just, uh, just really, really cool to see some of this stuff. This is Jen Powers here. She is the, uh, she is the master of all trades. Thank you. The, uh, the, 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 you're like me, though. You, 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 your knowledge is about an eighth of an inch deep on a lot of different things. And you've had a real study on Marvel Comics and Marvel, uh, the universe of Marvel. Tell me just a little bit about who this uh, exhibit is going to appeal to. Yeah, so the exhibit was really designed for, for everyone, whether or not you have a really deep knowledge of Marvel already, or whether you're not, you're just, you're just starting out. This is a really great place to, to learn a lot, not only about the comics, the history of the comic book industry, but also the movies and everything that Marvel has grown into. Yeah. So if you grew up with it originally, you'd know Stan Lee here, a guy who's, uh, and again, this is a really neat illustration uh, wall here. Uh, Stan, of course, is kind of the godfather of Marvel Comics and, and, and was famous for a lot of his cameos later on in, in some of the movies, Iron Man 3, Thor, He's uh, and this is just a nice uh, illustration. Moving on here, Jen, let's do it because there's a lot to see here in some of these exhibits, and it starts out uh, with some of the fabulous four that we, we refer to in the Marvel comics, right? The Fantastic Four, Fantastic Four, four. Yes. right, right, right. Um, you know, the Fantastic Four kind of kicked off the 1960s for Marvel Comics was one of their kind of the resurgence of the superhero was incredibly popular. And this exhibit's great because not only get to, do you get to learn about the comic books, but you also get to get up close with your favorite characters like The Thing. <laughs> the Thing is awesome. <laughs> I just love, I like how he just splays himself out on the sofa there. It kind of reminds me of me as a, as a thing here. Uh, and again, more of, the, uh, more of the costumes. These are some of the costumes that were uh, what were worn in some of the uh, some of the later pictures, the motion pictures that they made here. Uh, also, oh, and let's let's not forget about the original artwork too. We we talked a little bit about that. We got about 30 seconds left. These are some of the original things that they worked off to make some of the comics, right? Yeah, so the, these are kind of proof pages almost. This is what they would have made the comic books out of. And if you look closely throughout the exhibit, you can see pencil marks and things yeah. pasted over. Yeah. So really original, really fun to see. Really cool. Right behind you, Douglas, whip around because there's Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Remember that song? Spider, that's in my ear now. I can't stop, uh, stop playing it. And if you do like that song, uh, they've got a little audio board over here where you can listen to the original Spider-Man song. Take us out there with a shot of that guy who is a, an icon of Marvel Comics. That's the incredible, uh, that is the Incredible, incredible Hulk. Hulk, right? I'm looking at the right guy there. That's it. It's kind of what I look like before shower in the morning. This exhibit goes through April 8th or April 9th? April 9th, yeah. April 9th. They're not open today, but as, as, uh, as Jen referenced here, Emily and Ken, this is an exhibit that is open for all ages, and that in tales people that are a little older than me who grew up with the original Marvel comics. It involves a later generation of folks who may have just chimed in here with some of the movies, some of the, uh, some of the more current movies with the modern actors. So it's multi-generational exhibit here at OMSI again through April the 9th, and there is a lot to see here. You know, cool. Cor, there are so many Marvel characters. Uh, do you have a favorite? I like this guy standing right next to us here. I like the big green feet. I like the big hands. Uh -huh. I like the purple pants. What's not to like about that guy? Okay, yeah, the Incredible yeah. Hulk. That's my favorite guy right there. That, that, that's a good character to be your favorite. Yep, you've Appreciate probably it. figured him for an offensive lineman. 
back in the day, right? <laughs> <laughs> he would have been awesome. He would have made a lot yeah. of money in the he NFL. Would have, he would have been high up in the draft, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, very cool. Uh, yeah, what about you guys? You got a favorite Marvel character? Oh, Wanda. Maximoff. Wanda. Yeah. Scarlet Wanda. Witch. Yeah. Yeah. Doctor oh, Strange, I think, is mine. Oh, oh I think Strange. I'd go Spider-Man. I just, I, the thought of being able to shoot webs and climb and swing and stuff, that seems kind of fun. Yeah. Yeah, I've got yeah. two. Uh, my favorite, Iron Man, especially the way Robert Downey Jr. Oh. played uh -huh. him in the movies. And then uh, later, Black Panther. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah. They're, they're all so cool. It's hard to pick just There's tickets. a lot of them. Yeah, tickets are out for Wakanda Forever, so you got to get on that. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. That's when coming right up. Are they really out? Yeah. When is it air? Like uh, three or four weeks from now. Oh, okay. I would cool. say November, I think. Yeah. That makes the yeah, but they're yeah. already selling tickets. Oh, they're right. probably yeah. already selling out. The trailer's excited. already out. It's exciting. <laughs> the Marvel Universe, it is huge. Uh, well, yeah, so not today, but another day this week. Go check it out at OMSI. Uh,